Hello IG Garage family. Is your check engine light on with the P0173 code? That means there's a fuel trim imbalance in bank 2. This can mess with your engine's performance, fuel economy, and even cause long-term damage if ignored. But don't worry, today I'll explain what P0173 means, where to find the affected components and how to fix it quickly. Stick around because this could save you from costly repairs. The P0173 trouble code indicates that the engine control unit, or ECU, has detected a fuel trim imbalance in bank 2. This means the air-fuel mixture is not properly adjusted, which can be caused by faulty sensors, vacuum leaks, or fuel system issues. Symptoms of P0173 include the check engine light coming on, poor fuel economy, rough idle or even stalling, loss of power during acceleration, and engine misfires. Common causes of P0173 are, first, mass airflow sensor issues, a dirty or faulty MAF sensor can send incorrect data to the ECU. Second, vacuum leaks. Extra air entering the engine can cause an imbalance in the fuel mixture. Third, fuel injector problems. Clogged or malfunctioning injectors can cause a rich or lean condition. Fourth, oxygen sensor malfunction. A faulty O2 sensor in bank 2 can lead to improper fuel adjustments. And finally, fuel pressure regulator failure. Incorrect fuel pressure can affect trim balance. Alright, so let's talk about the key components you should check when dealing with a P0173 code. First up, the mass airflow sensor is located between the air filter box and the throttle body, and it's usually pretty close to the intake manifold. Then, there's the oxygen sensor, specifically bank 2, sensor 1, which is the upstream O2 sensor. You'll find this one mounted before the catalytic converter right on the exhaust manifold. Next, the fuel pressure regulator is typically found on the fuel rail, and it's responsible for regulating fuel flow to the injectors. And of course, don't forget to inspect for vacuum leaks. You'll want to check the intake manifold gaskets, PCV valve hoses and all the vacuum lines for any cracks or leaks. Okay, so here's how you can diagnose and fix a P0173 code. First, inspect and clean the mass airflow sensor. Just remove the sensor, clean it with some MAF cleaner, then reinstall it and see if the problem is still there. Next, check for vacuum leaks by spraying carb cleaner around any suspected leak points while the engine is idling. If the RPMs change, that's a good sign you've got a vacuum leak. For the oxygen sensor, use an OBD2 scanner to test it. If it's giving you incorrect data, you might need to replace it. Now check the fuel system by using a fuel pressure gauge to see if the fuel pump and regulator are working properly. If the fuel pressure is too high or too low, you'll want to fix or replace the faulty part. Finally, clear the code using an OBD2 scanner and take your car for a test drive. If the check engine light doesn't come back on after a few miles, you should be good to go. So that's how you fix a P0173 code and keep your engine running efficiently. Taking care of this issue will definitely help improve your fuel economy and prevent any engine performance problems down the road. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more car repair tips from IG Garage. Also, if you're interested, check out these related videos. First, P0095, Mass Airflow Sensor Circuit High Voltage, and second, P0096, Intake Air Temperature Sensor Circuit Range or Performance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.